out of nowhere i made a resolve video and you guys really liked that video and i thought why not make some more video on the Wednesday resolve today i'm going to show you how you can zoom in and zoom out just like that in Wednesday resolve with the help of a plugin and of course the plugin is totally free so first you need to download the plugin if i go to browser here you will see this is the website i will put a link in the description you can just click on the link and then it will take you here here you can donate whatever you want to mr alex tech because he made this plugin i will highly encourage you to donate some bucks to mr alex and then just click on get now it will download the file which is this one drfx file if you right click there and then if you click on open with the Vince resolve it will install the plugin so once you install the plugin go to the Vince resolve and here i prepared a project very simple video so i will demonstrate how you can use that plugin here to use a plugin you need to go to effects panel and if you just scroll down you'll see here is our newly installed plugin which is mr alex tech magic zoom so we have to use this one so before you use it you need to add a adjustment clip in result if you go here on this effect section then you will see adjustment click just click and drag a adjustment clip on top of your video two layer i mean on top of your video layer that you want to zoom in and then scroll down and click and drag this magic zoom effect on top of this adjustment clip right so if you just release it and if you play it back you'll see the zoom in and zoom out already applied if i play it back welcome to a new episode so of very Asian smooth Adobe zoom in Adobe Premiere Pro. and today we're going to learn how it is zoom. zooming out so that is what we wanted if you want to adjust the duration suppose you want to shorten the zoom in and zoom out range you can just decrease the duration of your adjustment clip now if you play it back welcome to a new episode of each and every effect in adobe premiere pro and and now let's modify some properties right so if you click here and then go to inspector you'll see effects and there you'll see magic zoom v3 which one we have just applied here you can adjust the position suppose you want to adjust the position you can go here and then you can change the pivot point right so if i just click and drag it i can change it there and of course you can control how much zoom in or zoom out you want right so if you just click and drag this one you can control the zoom in and zoom out suppose i want to zoom in this much now if i play it back Welcome to a you new can see episode it of has zoomed in to this point and, and again it has and zoomed out. Suppose you don't want to zoom in and zoom out. You just want to have the zoom in option, right? So what you can do, you can select the adjustment clip and go to zoom type. And from here, you can just select zoom and hold. What that will do, it will just zoom in and then it will hold till the adjustment clip end, right? So if I play it back, Welcome to a new episode of it will hold that Adobe section. So again, if you want to adjust the duration, you can adjust the clip. So it is holding the zoom in till this point again if you just have a standard zoom what it will do it will slowly zoom into this point right and then it will stop there again you can have hold and zoom out so that it will not do anything till this point it will just zoom out to this point right so it is holding the value of zoom here and then when it ends it will just zoom out i like to use the mirror so i'm just selecting that one and from this section you can change the easing option you can select custom is in or is out so that you can just adjust the curve or you can use easing or you can use linear if you use linear it will not look good so i like to use the easing option and now we can invert the section right so it will zoom out from here and then it will again zoom in from here so if you like that you can use that i will not use that so i'll just uncheck invert then of course zoom scale zoom offset then zoom speed and edge you can change this section you can change the angle if you want i don't want to change the angle and then you can introduce motion blur and you can change the shutter angle if you change the shutter angle what it will do it will add some motion blur here right so if i introduce some motion blur you can see it has introduced some motion blur on this section right Welcome to a new episode of each and every so if you want to use motion blur you can use that i will just decrease the motion blur i don't want to use that because that is very gpu heavy it will take time to render out 
and lastly if you want to have a dynamic movement of your camera within this static shot you can use the camera shape so if i go here and then if i go to suppose this section and change motion scale to this much and then speed and then motion blur you can change the shake level i'll just keep it 180 and then if i play it back maybe here Every you can see it is and just shaking the camera like you can change the shaking speed and scale of course so i'll just change this one i don't want this much of shakiness Every in so it is just looking a little bit dynamic so if you like camera movement you can also introduce camera shakes so that's it that is how you can use magic zoom by mr alex tech on the bench resolve i hope you have liked this video if you have liked this video and learned something new from this one then you can give me a thumbs up if you're new to this channel want to learn video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more awesome video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye